RFLP or restriction fragment length polymorphism is a non-PCR based marker technique to study genetic variation in individuals. RFLP is the first marker in the history of molecular markers. It exploits variation in the restriction site of DNA in different individuals. Now what are restriction sites? Restriction sites are 4 to 6 base pair sequences which are recognized and cleaved by specific restriction enzymes. But what are restriction enzymes? Restriction enzymes which is the basis of RFLP are derived from bacterial defense system that cleaves DNA of invading viruses thus protecting the bacteria. Such restriction enzymes acts as a tool to study DNA variations which is essential if we want to know the similarities and differences between individuals or samples. The principle of RFLP is based upon restriction enzymes. Consider two individuals and their DNA. The restriction site of restriction enzyme is shown TTAA in the box. You can see the variation of a single base A that is mutation in one of the bases of an individual Thus the individual 1 has only one restriction site but individual 2 has two restriction sites. When cleared with a specific restriction enzyme that recognizes TTAA site, restriction fragments of DNA are generated. These restriction fragments are separated on agarose gel based on the fragment size. Smaller fragments move faster and travel longer distances towards the positive electrode. But at this stage, we cannot see the differences in the two individuals. The restriction fragments are then transferred to a nitrocellulose membrane and radio labeled probes are applied. The probes are short DNA sequences which are complementary to specific DNA locus which is of our interest. This is called southern blotting in which DNA probes binds to their complementary DNA on the membrane. Here also differential pattern of the fragments are not visible. To visualize the different DNA fingerprint pattern between the individuals, X-ray film is applied to the blot and allowed to develop. X-ray film shows the restriction fragment pattern of two individuals. Now you can clearly distinguish two individuals based on their RFLP pattern. Now let's talk about the applications of RFLP markers. RFLP are useful for identifying parentage criminal detection, diversity and phylogenetic analysis, breeding, marker assisted selection, mapping and many more. Advantages and disadvantages of RFLP markers. Advantages is that they are codominant that is they can distinguish between the homozygous and heterozygous DNA. The probes developed are sequence specific hence we can target the specific DNA locus. Restriction sites are distributed throughout the genome. The results of RFLP are highly reproducible even across different labs. However, major disadvantages of RFLP are high quality of DNA is required as the restriction enzyme activity is highly affected by impurities. Radio labeling of probes is costly and working with it requires caution. The procedure is long, tedious, costly and cannot be automated. For a long time RFLP has sustained in the market but in the last few decades with the advent of PCR and other markers such as RAPD, SSR, AFLP and SNP have nearly replaced the RFLP from the market. For more information on markers, SSRs, ISSR, RAPD, don't forget to watch my other videos.